Paso Health Department reporting two deaths due to the West Nile virus in our community. KTSM 9 News reporter Bree Lockhart joins us live in the data center with an update from health officials with where the residents lived. Bree. That's right, Andy. So the two deaths were men in their 60s and 70s, both with underlying health conditions, residing in the 79936 and 07 area codes, which is the Lower Valley and East El Paso. Unfortunate that we give this news about the two deaths because there's two family members and there's two families that have been shattered. According to Dr. Hector Ocaranza, People over the age of 60 are at the highest risk of serious illness in those with pre-existing conditions. He says 8 out of 10 people who get infected do not have any symptoms. In about 10 to 20 percent of the cases, they get what is, what is called the West Nile fever. He says less than 1 percent can develop severe West Nile virus. Which attacks the central nervous system and unfortunately can precipitate the death as well. According to the CDC, as of September 20th, there have been a total of 420 cases in the U.S. According to Ocaranza, of those cases, there have been six here in El Paso, not including the two recent deaths. He says the best way to prevent getting bit by mosquitoes are to follow the four Ds, which are to use DEET, dress appropriately, avoid going out at dusk and dawn, and drain standing water. And Dr. Ocaranza says there are no preventative medications or um, medications at this time or vaccines, but you can find more information on the West Nile virus over on our website, ktsm.com.